Thanks for joining us here at 10 o'clock. Metro parents are frustrated tonight over how Overton High School handled the lockdown. Police tell us the school had two active shooter calls today. Both were false. They have arrested a ninth grader for making a false report. Now the parents say the school did not communicate anything for almost a full hour. Our Sharon Dankwa spoke with them. They were getting texts from their kids telling them the school was on lockdown. But when they didn't hear from the district, parents rushed to these front doors. With all the shootings that have happened, I didn't think I was going to see my kids no more. We're all getting information from our kids. Dozens of texts going out from students in Overton High School classrooms to parents like Janet O'Neill. Can you come pick us up after they clear out? If it was a full shooting, shooting, we would be dead. The kids won't shut up. The office, when I called, put me on hold, then hung up. When I called back, we don't have to tell you. Oh, the hell you don't. That's my children. So parents rushed to the school. And I walked up to the door and was met with the Metro officer. Okay. He told me that everything was safe, that it was a false alarm, um, and that they were questioning, I guess, those that were involved. They were doing a head count. And minutes later. You say that the school is safe, yes. even under lockdown. Why are we not able to get our children? Because we're finalizing the investigation. But honestly, I didn't have to come out here and address you all. That's not, I'm just being a good person to help you feel some level of security to know. We follow by the book. Our students are safe. Not at all. I don't have to, I could have stayed in my office. Well, stayed you know, you just but I just came because I saw you. Know, exactly, because I'm a good so you person. Saw us be, so you felt bad for us standing out here waiting and on I news for our kids? And I to talk to And you, you came out here? Absolutely. That's kind of disrespectful, don't you think? Not, not at all. It's when retired U.S. Master Sergeant and Overton parent Carmilla Hodges Matthews stepped in. They can't send out an a text saying what's going on until they figure out what's going on. I've done this for a living. They did it yes, by the books. They came with the weapons at the ready. They surrounded this perimeter. They did the sweep for a weapon. If it was one in this parking lot, and again, I sat right there. I had seven cars blocking me in. Metro Nashville schools say the call about a threat came in around 1215. Parents didn't get a call or email until 108. And then we have been informed by the police that the suspect who initiated the threat has been arrested. We also know that another student was taken into custody for contributing to the alarm by making a call to the police after the lockdown was initiated. They have spokespersons and stuff out here talking to us, giving us information all the time. Yes, ma'am. No. The voicemail sent out to parents say the false alarm was set off by a toy BB gun in a student's backpack. For WSMV4, I'm Sharon Dinkwa.